Fine Crafts. I'm Nazara, and I'm sorry about not filming for the past week, week and a half. Uh, we did have to evacuate for Hurricane Dorian. And luckily, our area wasn't hit that badly, but we are thinking and praying for those that were adversely affected by that storm. Uh, he just, <laughs> that storm just waited around and wouldn't tell anybody where he's going, so... But we did get to evacuate back to my mom's house. So uh, she did send me back home with a box of goodies that she has done. And we'll go ahead and get into it. So she, of course, we're still working on Halloween and fall and cold weather coming up. But here's a pumpkin colored messy bun hat. So it's got the hole in the top for those that like to keep their hair out of their buns or uh, out of their <laughs> out of their beanies and then uh, in an adult size it would fit a, a youth as well I would think uh, if they like them loose here is a blue adult beanie cap fun little puff stitch uh, cream colored in the same stitch as the last one but just a smaller yarn and then it has this cute crocheted pom-pom on top uh, the yarn was from Hobby Lobby uh, in a faux fur uh, husky color I believe it was but it's so soft and then two lavender hats this one looks like it could be an American Girl doll hat or even a preemie And then this one could be anywhere between um, probably about a year old, honestly, six months to a year old, depending on baby's head. Some are bigger than others, and I might add a pom-pom on top of that one later as well. If you like the hats that you've seen so far, go ahead and subscribe below and hit the like button. Uh, all of my items here will be uh, described in the, the description box below as well as these will be available on my Etsy shop soon. The link will be down in the description as well. And then, so my mom has been working on these amazing beaded choker collars that are in spider webs. And for those of us who work and we wanted to dress up for Halloween and we're not allowed to do like anything extravagant. These are actually a nice little touch for the workplace where they're just not too freaky. But yeah, these are really nice. I think I'm going to keep this guy on. But she sent me a neck for him to display the collars. It's just a velvety black dress form that props up on the table for when I go to craft shows. Uh, which I do this weekend on what is today's day um, this weekend on Saturday will be the Darien second Saturday off of Broad Street uh, that I do and so if you're in the area go ahead and swing by I love to talk to people and then we've got second spider web necklace third spider web necklace so these other ones don't have spiders added to them but um, I will add them or allow the people my mom actually sent me with extra spiders as well so that people can choose uh, like this one right here let me see if I can get a white piece of paper or cloth so this one right here doesn't have any decoration, it's just a bronze color. Or we can do like the one on my neck, let's see if I can dig one out here, is this little guy who's jeweled. So I hope you can see that in the bag. And then we got another necklace here. And then we've got larger, but not too large. Uh, this one's like in a, I don't know, almost a copper color. 
with a little bit of decoration, but not a whole lot. This one's more of a bronzy copper, and then we've of course got got to have some silver, and then some some more of a blackish pewter color. But I thought that was a nice touch that they could add um, whatever spider they wanted to. Um, she also sent me some bags to put them in. Um, and then she came, she did larger. I'm going to move over so you can see that a little better. But um, little capelets, which I will put a picture up without the stripes it doesn't you can't see it on the stripes that I'm wearing so I'll put a picture up of it and on a solid shirt but that one's like it's like a poncho that just goes about to here on your arms um, so that's also great and subtle for the workplace and there's one without the beads just in a black yarn Now, I do have a question for you guys if you want to comment below. Um, if you have any way or any experience with like jewelry or things that like to tangle up in each other, how to store these so that they don't end up getting twisted around um, each other. Because you see there at the bottom, it's already twisting up on itself. And that's not good. It doesn't look nice. So this is a cape, not a cape, yeah, a capelet. So this one just goes over your shoulders. And if you wanted to, you could actually put a spider here and hold it shut. So you can combine the choker and the capelet. And then it just looks like from the neck down, your spider web, spider woman, ha. Huh? And then, yeah, this is the last one. So... And this one she added these larger spiders to, which the capelets and the, the ponchos would be great for these larger spiders that she got at Hobby Lobby. So I will put a link down below. I'm not affiliated with Hobby Lobby, but uh, if you like this unboxing, just give it a thumbs up and like it below, uh, as well as subscribe subscribe to my channel. We will I will be doing more um, videos as they come along. Hopefully, we don't get any more storms anytime soon. But maybe I'll have a guest appearance with my mom next time if she's willing, or my, even my little sister who does crochet as well. I did an unboxing and showed you some of the crocheted uh, Harry Potter scarf scarf bookmarks that she made so um thank you again and we'll see you next time bye